guests today. Uh, we've got the cast of My Fair Lady, um, and they're going to be talking to us about their show at the Briny Hill Civic. Um, let me introduce you to them. Let's start off with Adam first, and then we'll go that way. So, hello, Adam. Hello there. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Not too bad, thank you. Not too bad. Absolutely great to be here. Thank you. It's great. Pleasure to have you here. Talk to me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing in the show, and then, like I said, we'll just go. We'll go around. You can tell me what what you're up to at My Fair Lady. Of course. Well, I'm playing the part of Freddie Ainsford Hill, who is the a young aristocrat who uh, meets Eliza Doolittle, who's the the main character in the show, and who it's focused around. And uh, Freddie meets Eliza at Ascot. Um, she's just, um, it's been a bit of a miracle. She's just figured out how to speak posh by Professor Henry Higgins. It's literally a bit of a, by George, she's got it sort of moment. And uh, she's been tried out with her accent to pass as lady at Ascot. And uh, she walks in, she gets introduced to um, uh, Professor Higgins' mum's friends, and there is young Freddie, and he it's um, obsession at first sight. <laughs> Some people say it's love, he's falling in love with her, or perhaps it's not. We, It's a bit of both, I think, is how it's been portrayed in the show. OK, thank you. Hi, um, it's John Lehman here. Um, I play Colonel Hugh Pickering, ex-Indian Army, who is a sort of sidekick to uh, Professor Higgins, who's doing the main teaching of Eliza. Um, and my character is a bit of a, a bit of an old duffer, I guess. <laughs> he's posh, he's rich, um, he's not as nasty as Higgins, he's much nicer. He's a nicer person all round, isn't he? He's nice to Eliza. Yeah. Um, and he's got some, I hope, some of the more humorous parts of the show, I would say. I've got some interesting uh, bits and pieces that hopefully will raise some laughs. It is a very entertaining show all round. That's me. Thank you, Steve. Ah, uh, well, I'm Steve, and uh, unlike these two uh, chaps over here, I'm not uh, posh at all. I'm uh, playing Alfred P. Doolittle, the father of uh, of, uh, of Eliza, and uh, he's a bit of a drunken rogue, and gets up to all sorts of things, and uh, and it's a really fun part to play. Uh, two great songs in it, a uh, little bit of luck, and uh, I'm getting married in the morning, so lots of, lots for me to do, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, so it's uh, yeah really good Thanks. Steve is hilarious throughout <laughs> yeah I try to be <laughs> you play the part well Steve <laughs> I'll, uh, we all play our parts right? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, just, they're, just, they're just posh <laughs> it's one of my favourites I uh, look forward to speaking to you a bit more about that and definitely look forward to hearing Adam sing live on the show um, after this Welcome back. It's me, Kim Mosley, and it's another Black Country Week. It's our second hour with the lovely cast of My Fair Lady. We've got Adam, John and Steve here. Thank you for joining me, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, you're just talking there in the, in the break, uh, Bradley Hill Civic. Um, you're not too familiar with, with it yourselves, are you? It's, you? it's your first time there, Adam, performing, and it's your second show, John, isn't it? And yeah, it's my, my second as well. Yeah. Lovely society, though, I have to say. Really welcoming. Um, really high uh, quality of singing especially I have to say very good yeah because I was going to ask because it, it's had a bit of a of, of a trial uh, for, for being having a rejuvenate trial there over 18 months um, started about a year ago or so um, so how how is that when you're there do you do you, how are you finding the venue itself do you do you feel like it's kind of up and coming um you know when when, when you're there compared to other venues that you may have uh, that you may have performed at yeah i think really cause i think we've done i've only done a few shows at probably hill civic hall i know you guys have done quite a bit mm. i think it's 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 a wonderful place to be i think the first time i ever walked on stage to do a show there this would be my third show actually funny i've done oh, loads okay. of shows at other theaters but mm. it's the third time at royal civic hall and it's it's quite spellbinding really when you walk on stage and you see all those seats and stuff like that and see a massive auditorium it's absolutely brilliant it's you know obviously one of the biggest venues in the local area it's absolutely amazing to walk into and see it all especially when you're on a show which has got a lot of past special effects or there's a lot of lighting sound fantastic music it all comes together into I know, for a performance, it's, it's a fantastic experience. You can't really beat it, really. Um, and just having a look um, at that kind of their schedule, that it, it is for me. It looks like it is up and coming, and it's a good place to to kind of be. You know, they've got people like Sean Walsh, who, if you're not familiar with him, he's a comedian. You'll, you'll find him on eight out of ten 
Cats and Mark of the Week, popular shows there. Um, so people are kind of gravitating towards it. So it must feel great that you can kind of be a part of that community. Yeah, very much so, yeah. And I think the Civic Hall, they've got a lot coming on. They've got, I think they had Derek Okora was there Friday night. They've done other stuff. They have themed disco evenings and other stuff, and then shows. John didn't know that, but so, Yeah, yeah, Derek no, was there. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> 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 Derek did. Food <laughs> <laughs> medium. But anyway, he, um, yeah, they've got a lot going on, and we've had a lot of support from the Civic Hall in terms of helping to promote the show, uh, collaboration in, in sorting out logistics at the venue, etc. They are actually really good to actually work with closely. So uh, we're extremely appreciate, appreciative of that. You know, you, you need a, a fantastic venue to do your show, and, and the Civic Hall are, are serving their purpose. And this isn't the first time that you've worked together, is it? You, you, you three, or, or? Uh, it's the first time I've been on stage with Adam. But I worked with Steve several times. In uh, S Steve is actually chairman of another company, local company called Tab. I'm chairman of another company called Tinker's Farm Opera, and we've helped each other's at, uh, each other out in different shows. Uh, Steve yeah. was in Fiddle on the Roof with us. Yeah, I've just done, uh, done that, and uh, I've done some pantomime uh, with <coughs> uh, with Adam. Uh, in the past for the young ones, uh, we, where it's mainly children, but some adults are uh, asked to come in and do some of the, the other parts that they can't do, and uh, we've had some great fun over the years, haven't we? Have we certainly have. It's great for the kids as well. This musical theatre stuff is brilliant for young people. Uh, it really is. It's a great, great thing. There's lots of societies, and Briley Hill especially, um, you know, they do the pantomime. Lots of young people, they get involved down to uh, Briley Hill Civic Hall, and the show as well. You'll see a lot of up and coming young people in this show if you get along and it's on what is it again the 11th to the uh, 11th to the 14th, 14th of October. October coming up very soon next week you'll Thanks. see some really talented young people mixed in with obviously some of the older performers very 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 good some indeed some more mature people you mean yeah mature mm. yeah okay. like, uh, I mean, I've been, been fortunate to, to have gone to a few shows this year locally um, and, and it's the Vicar of Dibley and her Amdram things it's nothing like that the, the talent the, 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 the young people yeah, yeah, or yeah, established yeah. actors and musicians and, 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 and singers the talent that is on display at these this is not yeah. you know stereotypical yeah. uh, village hall stuff is it yeah. you no definitely, not, definitely not yeah you, people yeah. really do take it seriously now and I think because of that the quality of what you've got to do you know uh, uh, is always steps up and we're pushed by a, a committed and talented production team I think a lot of local societies all of them really have got talented production teams who come in and really push you and tell you off and yeah. oh, you've got to do it again you've got to do this and that so it really gets the best out of you so every show I feel like every show I've done I've actually learned a lot <clears throat> You know what I mean? There's always a challenge in a new... You know, you might have done shows for 20-odd years, but when you do a new part or an, and, and a new show, and perhaps with a new company, it's all a new challenge, mm. and you learn stuff, you make new friends, and you know what I mean? And there's fantastic comradeship. We have a laugh. Mm. We've had a laugh in rehearsals. We'll have a laugh next week, you know what I mean, throughout the show, you know. Um, I was going to say, though, the, the people that come to the shows for the first time, if it's the first time they've come to see Briley Hill or they come to see Tab or they've seen Tinker's Farm or whatever, they are amazed at how professional it looks on stage. We present things extremely well and we put a lot of effort into it. We've been working very hard for this show, haven't we? Mm. Um, and I think people coming for the first time, if you've not been before, um, come and see it. Yeah, it's, come it's, and see it. You'll, it, you'll be amazed. True. That's true. I always get that. Whenever somebody's come for the first time, uh, they and they a lot of people enjoy it so much that they just ask, "Well, when's the next one? When, what are you doing next?" And it's great that is because it's it's a good thing and it, it's good for the the venues. We've just been talking about the venues, and to be fair, um, Broadly Hall have had to reinvent themselves, and uh, the shows are part of what happens now. Perhaps a few years ago, there wasn't really anything else going on, but perhaps the few amateur shows that we've done there so it's it has become a different venue now and and probably for the better i would say it's good to know that you you know that you all work well together all, already so you've kind of got 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 that there um, and how long have you have you, you three been performing and, and doing the, the these shows well, Adam, I Tony, like you're not very that. old, are you, Adam, really? Well, thank you for <laughs> saying that, Steve. You've done 20 years, <laughs> I've done 11 years. What's that all? Yes, <laughs> yeah, he's had all... Just a starter. I'm just a starter. Start. I know, a young chicken. Well, well, John, how many have you done? Yeah, I haven't actually been doing that much on stage. Only seven years, really, because I, I didn't come to doing it till I was older and just, um, you know, I'd been doing a lot of other things which took up my time, but... Uh, 
But no, I've really, really enjoyed the last seven years. Yeah. Really have. Shall I tell you when I did my first show? Oh hey, my. Go on then. It, it, 1980. Last, that's the last century, isn't it? John? It is the last century. Yeah, last century. <laughs> <laughs> Not just well into the last century. But, <laughs> but I have to say, I met my lovely wife doing this. 1980. Aww, that's lovely. We're 1980 at the back, back row of the gondoliers. Glynis and I were there, giggling uh, away, messing yeah. about. Having a great time, and um, we're still married now. Yeah. Oh, that's I, think, lovely. I think we've Hello, all met our partners and wives, haven't we? My wife, I've met I through the operatics. Yeah, you've never met her, haven't you? <laughs> no, no, but we've met, we've known each other for some time, and, and obviously. And we were originally in Choir Bank Operatic Society years and years ago, and, and we're married now. So, you know, it, it happens. I met my wife at uh, a pantomime at Stourbridge Town Hall. Oh, oh no, you didn't. Uh, yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was like a school. <laughs> I did, yeah, very good. I've, I've, I've I've slow today. Uh, I was underneath the stage. Um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> she okay. was in big fine and dresses. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we, we had a trap door. Uh -huh. So my first real view doors. of my wife was. <laughs> don't, 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 don't say it live on here. She knows, she knows. But, you know, Aww. I to fall in love. Yeah. Well, happens, doesn't it? Collaboration, though. Um, I mean, this, we, you sort of touched on that. This, it, when you're talking about this sort of, a lot of volunteers who are doing this, you know, mm -hmm. you're, you're not going to be paid. You, you need to Nobody make your money on the door to pay for all the scenery and, and the costumes and, and, and bits and pieces. It's really important that people are collaborating, working together, supporting yes. each other, isn't it? Yeah. Well, what we do, because we've, um, we've all been associated with quite a few local societies, we... Sometimes the society is doing a show and the call goes out, we need more people to help front of house or perhaps backstage or even selling ice creams in the auditorium during the performance or whatever. So we all sort of like then go and help each other out at various performances and stuff like that, which I think is great because then for us, we've got, um, we're keeping our passionate hobby going because we've obviously got, we've all got a passion about performance and musical theatre and pantomime and then at the same time we're making some fantastic friends and close acquaintances etc and you all know each other you know what i mean you've got like we, we've we've created like a bit of a network mm. of of people who you yeah. know and at the same time it's like you then might be asked oh would you like doing this show you might be approached by someone or would you, are you free to do that part or if you're not don't what you know what i mean it, it, you've you've got this fantastic network and a lot of the time there's families involved as well so my mum and dad have been involved for many, many, many years. My mum's in this show. I dragged her along, press ganged oh. into the performance. She's very good. You know, it? I literally, yeah, I literally good, said yeah. at before one, about five days before one rehearsal, I said, Mom, we need more people to take part in My Fair Lady. Uh, what time shall I pick you up on the way to rehearsal? And she went, What? <laughs> what do you mean by that? And there I am. And, 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 and she was press ganged into it. It's not her first show. Oh, no, no. No, no yeah. she's doing it it's for. Like she's um, very good. Since she was 16. I'm not going to say how long ago that was. Sorry, Mum. She's listening. <laughs> and your, your children get involved as well, don't they, Steve? Yes. Um, uh, that's one of the, the, the great things, really. I, I've got um, got three daughters, and they, they all do uh, and have done different shows over the years. One of them, my youngest daughter, who's 14 now, she's, she's in uh, My Fair Lady, and she's uh, really enjoying it. And I've got uh, two other daughters who are, are going to be in West Side Story next year. They're both 16. So, uh, yeah, and over the years they've done things like Annie and all these kinds of shows. It's it just, it's so good for the kids because they have some focus once or twice a week on an evening, all the rehearsing that's done. Um, they get to work not only just with people their own age, but, but sort of older people as well. And it's all done in a very safe environment. It's all sorted out very well. And uh, I think it's as good as anything you can do, really. Dance, which is very good for exercise. Singing is extremely good as well from an exercise and from a relaxation point of view. Mm. Absolutely brilliant, really. So uh, I'd recommend it to anybody. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really enjoyable to do something with your own kids um, and have something in common, really, rather than just dropping them off and then picking them back up again sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. And, Adam, you're going to do a live thing off thing I am indeed. Now. Yes. Um, so we are ready when you are. Um, if you want to go ahead, and we're getting ready now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's all sorts of a uh, technical issue. Technical issues. When all you're sorts doing of things going radio. on in the show today. Uh, so what are you going to sing, Adam? On the street where you live, which is obviously oh. from the show. Yes, it's from. It's what Freddie sings. It's it's a lovely song. Um, now everyone else's microphone is going to go down. So we're going to have to do a quick sound check live. Say hi. Hello. 
That's not you. Say hello. Hello. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so, um, we've got it back in track, and we've never actually done this on this show before, so you are a first. Oh, my <laughs> God. Um, but no pressure. I'm sure no you're pressure. well rehearsed. <laughs> I have often walked down this street before But the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before All at once am I several stories high Knowing I'm on the street where you live Are there lilac trees in the heart of town? Can you hear a lark in any other part of town? Does enchantment pull out of every door? No, it's just on the street where you live. And oh, the towering feeling just to know somehow you are near. That any second you may suddenly appear People stop and stare, they don't bother me For there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be Let the time go by, I won't care if I can be here Street where you live, I know the towering feeling just to know somehow you are near the overpowering feeling that any second you may suddenly appear. People stop and stare, they don't bother me For there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be Let the time go by I won't care if I can be here on the street where Thank you so much for doing that, Adam. And relax. <laughs> <laughs> take a chair, Adam. Wow. <laughs> you can take a chair, Adam, for like the first Thank you. Say, no, a certain program. I wasn't moving TV around. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say as well, he, he, he's been sat down as well, so to get that kind of volume, to just be sat in front of a microphone just as you are, is just incredible. Thank you. I hope he's Thank as good you. next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. That's, no pressure. Pressure. That's, That's the second wow. time he's done it, is this? <laughs> 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 was it doing last night? Oh, we didn't oh, do it. I didn't end up the song, didn't I? I didn't turn up to rehearsal. <laughs> We, we are going to go to a short break now, uh, so please stay tuned and we'll tell you all about My Fair Lady. And if you're just tuning in, then you've just missed Adam sing live on the streets where you lived uh, from the show My Fair Lady, which was phenomenal. Um, so thank you again, Adam, for, for blessing us with that. You're that was very lovely. very welcome, thank you. Lovely to hear. Um, so yes, uh, My Fair Lady... Uh, you are performing in that at the Briley Hill Civic and John was just talking to us uh, about how which is quite interesting how My Fair Lady was actually blocked for amateur performance yes. talk mm. to us about that John well I, I don't really know much of the background to it but I know that um, for about 10 years no amateur company in the UK has been able to perform My Fair Lady um, there was some litigation or something going on in the States which prevented amateur companies getting the licenses to do it um, and as I said earlier, we, we're indebted to, uh, to Rob Morrison, who's the treasurer at Brian Hill, for spotting that this had come off this, uh, this blockage and, and picking up the rights to My Fair Lady for uh, Brian Hill to do it. it. It did mean they shifted a show. They were going to do Jekyll and Hyde, which is a great show. Um, but uh, 
My Fair Lady obviously not having been done for 10 years um, is attracting some attention I think for, for people to see it because it is such a good show as well. Um, my other company, Tinker's Farm, tried to get the rights to, to My Fair Lady several times but couldn't, couldn't get it for the last 10 years. So um, that's, that's really the background and mm. I, I guess that's why Briley Hill chose to do it. Uh, first time in the black country for many, many years My Fair Lady's been done. Mm. And we've got some people in, in this cast who were in the last time My Fair Lady was done, haven't we? Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. So the, the, the continuity is there, yeah. you know, people that took parts are now in the chorus and as they get, mm. get older. Yeah. Parts, it, was a, it was the first, although I've not been on stage um, only in the last seven years, but I'd have helped out a lot with, um, with societies and it was the first show I actually had anything to do with. I did some uh, scenery work on My Fair Lady in 1980, so that was actually... Uh, <laughs> Quite a long time ago, wasn't I was it? In the I, was only, I was only very small. Why were you in the girls' lingers? <laughs> must have been very small. So, so yeah, it brings back some memories for me. It's, so, al it's also, you know, it's it's really good value, really good value show because it's one of the longest shows you can go and see. <laughs> Um, it, it is actually a good two and a half hours, and if you go and see Greece, you get like an hour and forty-five if you're lucky. So I'm, I'm pushing the old ticket sales oh. again here, but no, seriously, it's don't, be, well don't be put off by the fact it's going to be a long show. It's a long show with lots and lots of very well-known uh, good numbers news in it. is we're starting at seven fifteen, yeah. so that we should be able to finish by about. Well, we, 10. we make time for for those who wish to uh, go to the bar, have an ice cream, or whatever else. <laughs> so don't worry about that; it'll be okay. <laughs> Well, if it's that good, it, it, it won't be long enough, will it? No. So, no. <laughs> no. so is that the main reason why the three of you wanted to get involved in it because of that kind of history to it? Um, is that the main reason, kind of, why you wanted to? Well, to well it's a, it is really what you call an iconic show. It's, it, I mean, it won uh, I think the actual film won seven Oscars, eight Oscars, eight Oscars, eight Oscars, eight Oscars, eight Oscars yeah. which is pretty good going, really. And um, obviously, this is the show. It's not actually exactly like the film. But, um, yeah, it's the sort of show, if you do any kind of musical theatre, you'd want to be in, really, I think. It, it's just such a, a good mm, score, yeah. isn't it, of music and, yeah. and some good numbers, dance numbers in for, for people and that kind of thing, so. Yeah. Comedy as well, I mean, it's really quite funny. Quite subtle, the comedy, a lot of it, but, you know, it's really, really is quite a funny show. Yeah, it's got a fantastic mix, hasn't it? It's got the comedy, which at times is so uh, so funny. Man, though, we've been laughing with Steve when you've done your stuff as, as do Alfred Doolittle. It's been brilliant. Um, John's line, playing coke. <laughs> oh, I think that's brilliant yeah, with yeah, Higgins yeah. and well, Eliza and the three to, of them together. Yes, come and see that one. Yes, come and see that, guys. <laughs> it, it, it's absolutely brilliant to see that. And then at the same time, you've got some dramatic stuff. Um, dramatic songs and singing and then you've got Lina, when you feel really sorry about what's happened with Eliza she's you know she's because um, obviously it's set in 1912 Edwardian England in, in London and she's been took on to change her uh, her, um, her voice her speech and accent to become obviously to pass as a lady so we see a bit of um, a cross from a cross of classes from one class to the next which in those days would have been quite unique and you know what i mean and then it, and it really comes back to that yeah and once she's done the um once she's done the bet and, and passed at the embassy ball with higgins and pickering as a lady um she's like thinking what's going to happen to me now you know what i mean i've i've been including this bet i've learned how to speak <clears throat> well am i still going to go back to covent garden and be a flower girl <laughs> you know what i mean so it's but obviously i don't know Spoilers, yeah. no spoilers. <laughs> we don't no, see what's going to happen at the end, yeah. but obviously you could Google it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Don't go on Wikipedia. <laughs> but um, anyway. Yeah, and it, it's a show that's really for, for all the family, because I love Audrey Hepburn anyway, um, mm. but I always remember, I must have been about four or five, watching the movie, and I remember, obviously, she knew, is it like the marbles in her mouth or something she's yeah. trying to talk? <laughs> yeah. And I, I remember, yeah. I remember watching it, and when she, she does talk well, compared to how she talked before, I remember getting ever so excited as like a four-year-old, like, oh, she can talk properly now, <laughs> Mum! Like, I, I, forgot, I got really into it and really excited as a four-year-old, so it's definitely a show that everybody can enjoy, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, very much. And so. you, you will remember things. Some of the music, you, even if you don't always associate it with it, you'll have heard it somewhere. Uh, things like the rain in so Spain well. and all this yeah. kind of thing. They're just things that are kind of in our sort of society <coughs> and all over the place, aren't they? Picking up on that, I, I'm a bit of a philistine when it comes to the arts. All right, I went to see um, uh, <laughs> what, what's that? I've forgotten it now. It's really bad. You know the the the. Uh, uh, 
starts off and they're slaves <laughs> we and it's the French society, Revolution. Oh, you're talking about Les Mis? Les Mis. You know, you know those moments when you start speaking you think, mm. uh-oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. That was that moment. But I remember seeing that for the first time and I, 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 I've done a couple of musicals but they're mainly things like the Buddy Holly story and stuff. It was very sort of lowbrow. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh, no, that song. Mm. Oh, no, that song. That song, I, I've heard that on X Factor. That yeah. song's from there. That, that suddenly, you know, you're sitting there, you, you're listening to some of these, these performances, and you're thinking, ah, that's where it came from then. They have become ingrained in our national and international psyche, haven't they? Mm. And My Fair Lady is one of those yeah. where it has put something out there as a musical, then as a film, and it is, oh, we own it now. It's, it, these songs are part of who we are. Yeah, it's very powerful yeah, stuff. So. Yeah, it is true. You get that a lot. I think. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's a poor song in it, really, is there? But, uh, no, no I don't think there's anything that nobody really, honestly, no, doesn't know. Unless they're obviously the one I sing. quite young, really. But um, mm. apart from that, it's, it, it is it is very good. It, yeah. it, it, although it is a long show, it does flow. It's good. There's a lot in it, and it always keeps you sort of interested. I think, which is is important. One of the energy that's coming out of the chorus as well, well for, for your song, yeah. Steve sings I'm like getting married in the morning. In yeah. the morning, yeah, mm -hmm. and the whole chorus are on stage with him, and they were rehearsing it last night. I was sitting at the yeah. front because I'm not in it because I don't have that much energy. Um, absolutely fantastic I mean, uh, performance, and, and and Anna, our choreographer, is uh, yeah. I think really we need to we need to say there. really that that we've got a very we got a very young choreographer, Anna. She's absolutely amazing. She did Annie last year. The, 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 the detail, the detail. Amazing. She tries to get in there and does it in such a good way. She gets the yeah. best out of everybody. Ty, who's also a young man, uh, very talented, really puts every eye to detail. He he really does have a lot of patience. And he gets the best out of people who are, they want, you know, it's in them, but you've got to get it out of them. They're not professionals, they are amateurs, but if you know what to do, you'll get the best out of people, and, and, and you will. And Craig, our, our musical director, again, he's, he's worked so hard. Again, fine detail, just trying to get the harmonies right and so on. And in the end, on stage, that will all pay off, and, and people who come and see us will will benefit from that. You re they really will. I guess you lot can be as talented as you like. It's actually putting it together. Yeah, it's really important. Mm. The, you know you've got the story and yeah. the song. Yeah, yeah. But, but you require that, so the, the production values behind the scenes, the scenery, the choreography, the musical directors, all that mm. needs to work yeah. before it, it works. It's done in a very respectful way. There's no shouting and screaming. It's, it's all very, very respectfully done. I have to say, uh, yeah, very impressed. And you mentioned, Adam, that at last minute you asked your, your mother to come and help out. Um, <laughs> if the upcoming shows that, that you guys have, do you need any volunteers or members to come and, and help and be a part of any future shows that, that you have? And if so, how, how can they go about contacting mm. you and getting involved? Well, I think, really, I think all of, our, all of the local societies are desperate primarily for men. Yeah. I think if anything really there's always a lack of men in and when you when you launch a show the first night when that yeah most societies now do a launch night and you you meet the production team and there's perhaps some new people come in and they'll give you a brief on the show what it's all about auditions for characters uh, for the parts and leads etc and then you'll have about three weeks to go until you you, you audition so I, I always on the first night there's always sometimes a lack of men <laughs> so you know what mm -hmm. I mean so there's always a call out for for more men to come and join the societies <coughs> and stuff like that um i think general people overall you know what i mean we you know it, it's lovely to have a, a, i know we've got sort of an average size cast at the moment but it's always good to have even more people come in and and i know for next year specifically for Briley hill is obviously they're, they're doing we're doing peter pan so there's going to be a great need there for children to come in and be the lost boys and the darling family etc so there's always need of of youngsters to come and do shows now as well so because well, there's a bit of a link there so you know and then there's people who help out backstage no, no we're very lucky in that we've actually got a very talented backstage crew called team hazelwood who helps out and does the majority of the local shows and do, do runs out backstage and etc and they're absolutely fantastic so it's volunteers like them we always need to help out backstage, front of house, lighting, sound, etc. Great, okay. I mean, I, mean, I, I will uh, I'll just emphasise that. We say so Tab Operatic are doing West Side Story, and um, you need a lot of young men for that. And we still have one or two areas where we could fill. fill. Mm -hmm. So if there is anybody, just look for Tab, T A B, Operatic. 
on uh, on and you you'll find all the details on there on the website so so yeah um but uh, it's 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 always young men really and men of uh, it, lots of ladies but it's men that tend not to be quite mm. so keen on uh, showing what they can do really for some reason mm. or you can have to bhmtc.co.uk which is the Bridie Hill Musical Theatre Company's own website and I'll just go and talk about the list of the societies that are on the right hand side of every page Bilson Operatic Society Crady Heath Amateur Operatic Society they come on here quite a bit Harlequin Pantomime Productions Kidderminster Operatic and Dramatic Society Kinnamer Light Operatic Society the National Operatic and Dramatic Association Quarry Bank Musical Theatre Society, South South, it goes on. There is yes, a long list, all, mm, and they're yeah. all local, you know. They're all very worthwhile <coughs> as well. They all do some great work, all of them. There's no, there's no, nobody you, 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 you know, you don't, you join any of them really at any point if you're doing something. I would say. When's the show on? When, when's it on? Right now, that's the important thing. It's on from the 11th to the 14th of October. So that's Wednesday is the, the opening night through to Saturday. There's a matinee on Saturday. Yes. Yeah. The start times are 7:15, not 7:30. And, and of course, the matinee is 2:15. 2:15. Is it 2:15? 2:15. Yes, 2:15. Uh, and it's at Briley Hill Civic Hall. Brilliant. And tickets, I think, will be thirteen pounds. Uh, they're, for, they're from eleven, so it's yes, eleven pounds yeah. for the matinee, uh, thirteen pounds yeah. for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday nights, and then Saturday evening is fourteen pounds for our last performance. Do you want to give the ticket hotline? Out, of which, course, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, oh, uh, yeah, go on, you do. Yeah, don't I don't mind. <laughs> you want to sing it out? Yeah. No, no, oh no, yes, yes. <laughs> Singing <laughs> the box office hotline number. It's oh three four five six five eight eight oh nine five. Shall I just say it? No or shall I do an X Factor <laughs> voice? <laughs> shall I yes, yes. Yeah. And now the box office hotline number. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take a step back from the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> with your, with your actor's voice. <laughs> the the, actor the, voice. the X Factor, my fair lady, box office hotline is 0345 658 8095. And you can go online to purchase your tickets at www.bhmtc.co.uk That's www.bhmtc.co.uk Beaming voice almost exploded the speakers but didn't quite even was able to rein it in. Thanks, lad. <laughs> That's okay. You should also say Facebook is a very good vehicle for keeping people connected as well. Yeah, you'll, you'll find Briley Hill, BH, as you said, MTC on there. We've you'll shared. find Tab on Facebook. You'll find my, my company, Tinker's Farm Opera, on there as well. We've shared a link on our Facebook page as well, uh, Black Country Radio. If you want right. to get tickets, you can go there and purchase tickets as well from, from our page. Um, and like John just said, follow, keep up to date, like everything on, 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 on their sure. shows. Um, because you just obviously hearing that little sample from you, Adam, that, that was fantastic. And I'm looking to, to, to go in and see my, my, my fair lady yeah, well, more. He, so you've completely he, sold he it is, to me now. <laughs> he is learning a lot, but he's getting better. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a learning curve. Thank you, though. Thank you <laughs> Thank so you. much for being on the show. It's been an absolute pleasure to have all three of you. It's a shame you Thank two you. didn't sing John and Steve, but maybe next time. <laughs> well, <laughs> next time. We'll that was hear. a problem if we'd have signed yeah, it. No, 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 You'd have overshadowed Adam, yeah, probably, yes. Yeah, yeah, problem. We can't give you too much. You've got to come and see us to hear us sing. There you go. Only little snippets you little snippets so if that's yes. not tempting you I don't know what what <laughs> will um, so thank you everyone for listening um, thank you for Ian Mary and Chloe Smith who's still here with me um, and thank you to Dean and Ian on earlier <laughs>